A box of books swing 300 newtons is shoved across the floor of an apartment by a force of 400 newtons exerted downward at an angle of 35.2 degrees below the horizontal. If the coefficient of kinetic friction between box and floor is 0.57L, how long does it take to move the box 4 meters starting from rest? Our givens for this problem are Fa, which is 400 newtons at 35.2 degrees, and the weight, Fg, which is 300 newtons, and then mu, which is 0 0.570. going to be solving for FAX first, and that is cos FAX equals cosine of 35.2 theta times FA. That's your letter equation. So then put the numbers into that. It's going to be FAX equals cosine 35.2 times 400 newtons. <coughs> and so that gives you 326.9 newtons. Okay. Now we're going to find FAY, which is FAY equals sine of theta times FG. And then, the, and the numbers you plug in, FAY equals sine of 35.2 times 400 newtons. And it's not FG, it's FA. Okay, we'll do. So I said why. And FAY equals 230.6 newtons. So now on our free body diagram, we can write down what FAX and FAY equal. So now we're going to do our sum of forces in the y direction equation in letters, which is sum of f of y equals fn minus fg minus fay equals zero. Now you're going to arrange, rearrange this equation so that you're finding out what fn equals, which is fg plus fay. Then you plug in your numbers, so you're going to have Fn equals 300 plus 230.6. And once you do that, your answer is going to come out to be 530.6 newtons. Okay, now we're going to find our force of friction, which is, our mu was given to us, it was 0 0.570, and we now know our normal force, which was 530.6 newtons. So we can write our friction equation down, which is mu times Fn equals force of friction. And so once we add numbers into that, it's going to be 0 0.570 times 530.6 equals friction. And 
believe your answer comes out to be for friction 302.4 newtons. So now that we know our normal force and our friction force, we can write those on the free body diagram. So now we're going to find our sum of forces in the x direction. So our letter equation is sum of forces in the x direction equals FAX minus FFR. And we know our FAX and FFR, so we can do sum of forces in the x equals 326.9 minus 302.4. And the answer to that is 24.5 newtons. Okay, so we're trying to find our acceleration with the equation F equals MA. We know our F now, which is 24.5. And in order to find our M, we are going to have to divide 300 by 9.8, which is 30.66. So we're, we manipulate our equation, and our answer for acceleration ends up being 0.8 meters per second squared. So what we're trying to find in this problem is how long it takes to move the box four meters starting from rest. So we're going to use the equation delta x equals vit plus one half at squared. We know our delta x is four. Vit cancels out because vi equals zero. So we have plus one half times 0.8 t squared. Okay. So then we have 4 divided by 0.4 because 1 half times 0.8 is 0.4 equals t squared, which gives us 10 equals t squared. And we find the square root of both sides and t equals 3.17 seconds.